Happy Friday everyone! It's Charmaine's Kitchen here and today I'm gonna be sharing a recipe for Hassa curry and I have the Burby Diana Hassa. I didn't cook curry in my kitchen for a long time and I am just really really longing for a nice fish curry. So today I'm gonna be sharing Hassa curry with a little bit of a twist. It's Friday and I'm just in the mood for this. So I'm gonna leave this Hassa to thaw out a little and then I'll show the whole process of preparing this and a delicacy. And as my Trinidadian friends will say, cascado. So come on down and let's get cooking. Exercise. Somebody's happy because it's hot and sunny in the backyard. She was scooting on her scooter with Dad. Look at her. They parked the scooter. They're enjoying the nice, hot, sunny weather today. Enjoy. Thanks. I just love when the weather is nice and when we can sit in the backyard and enjoy the sunshine. I just clean and thoroughly wash the hassa. I'm going to soak it down in some salted water. And then I'll start preparing my ingredients for this hasa curry today. So every April, I always cut off the head of my green onions, soak them in some water, and then I will plant them into my garden. And I had a little area that I always plant green onions. These ones are ready to plant. But this year, I'm gonna use pots like these. They're long pots. I have three of them I'm gonna use two fill them up with soil and plant the green onions and save the space from my garden to plant some more vegetables this year so I'm very excited it is April 28th and I'm gonna start planting some green onions and for the rest of the summer I will be picking only the top of it and leave the bottom to keep on sprouting and that's how I harvest my green onions for the summer. If you go too fast, you'll be tired. See if you can beat me. Be careful. Ugh. I have some fresh seasoning laid out that I'm gonna be blending up to cook my hassa curry today some fresh fine thyme, fresh green onions, some maruguri pepper, garlic, and broad leaf or thick leaf thyme. Hubby already blend up my coconut milk, so I'm using one fresh coconut and the milk added with some water for this curry because coconut milk adds a really nice sweet and creamy flavor to the hassa curry. So here I have all my spices for the curry. I have some turmeric powder, some roasted ground jeera or cumin. I have some lala's curry powder and I have some masala. Over here I have all the goodies to go with the curry. And I have more than one hassa curry recipe on my channel. But hassa curry is a very popular dish in Guyana and Trinidad. And every time I make this dish, I always add something new or twist it up a little. So today I'm gonna be adding some okros, some belimbi or kamaranga. I have some saijan pieces and some maruguri pepper, some green mangoes, cherry tomatoes, I'm gonna be adding some tomato paste, yes, for curry, but it take, give it a very nice flavor. And now I'm gonna add all that good stuff that I blended up into the spices. And we're gonna give this a good mix to a paste. So in the pan, I have about a tablespoon of coconut oil. Just before the oil is too hot, I'm gonna add all my mixture here and we will let this warm up along with the oil to avoid any splattering or and avoid any heavy steam going up 
I'm gonna let all the spices and ingredients cook and open up and married in together. And once the curry paste starts sticking to the bottom and the color change to a nice brownish color, we're gonna start adding more ingredients. Our curry paste is cooking up nicely. Starts sticking to the bottom, but I still want the paste to cook a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a little bit of my coconut milk and some chopped onions. I like to go in with the salt at this point. All the flavor will cook together. And I will leave all the measurements in the description below for all the ingredients I'm using today. I just added the pasta to the pot. I'm gonna mix it into all this goodness. And cook it until the natural water is evaporated a little and then we will add all our trimmings and our coconut milk it smells really nice in here and these are good size Guyana Hassa I like when it's this size So I like how it's looking now. I'm gonna add two heaping tablespoons of tomato paste. And this will add a very nice balance to the curry. It has some sourness from the tomato and it will thicken up the gravy nicely and give it a nice flavor also. I'm gonna try to mix it into the curry paste here. And I'm adding now my saijan. And saijan is very nutritious. It's not easy to find sometimes, but whenever I do, I always stock up on this. We're gonna add our coconut milk now. It smells good, right? Yeah. So we have our coconut milk with along with water that we're adding and we're gonna mix it up a little and leave it on medium heat to cook for five minutes and then come back and check how it's looking so our curry is looking nice i'm gonna be adding my mangoes and when cooking fish curry I like to add sour things to balance off all the flavor of the fish. We're going to add some okra in here. These are very nutritious, plus it adds so nice flavor to the curry. And we're going to add some tomatoes. This is looking so beautiful and I'm gonna add my mar maruri pepper right on top to steam cook in here. And the last thing I'll go in with is my balimbi or um, kamaranga or souri as we know it as back home. But because this cooks so quickly, I'm gonna add it close to the end. Our curry is coming along nicely. I love the color that I'm seeing. And that's because of the tomato paste. I'm going to add our balimbi or souri, kamaranga, whichever name you know it as. It is known to be very sour. And these are the frozen ones I'm using. And a family from the five finger. Uh, it really complements a fish curry because fish curry goes nice with sour kind of things like the mangoes and tamarind and all that. So I'm gonna cover it back and leave it to cook on medium heat. When I'm making fish curry, I like it to take its time and cook on slow to medium heat so all that flavors can just marry in well and just mix in properly. 
So my hassa curry is finished. I really like the color of it. I'm gonna plate it up in a different dish over here. And I have to be very careful here now. Look at these guys. I just love a good hassa curry. And I know I'm going to make some happy people in my house as well. Because we have everything to go with it. So here is the finished product. And I am ready to dig in and let you guys know how this tastes. So let me play it up. And I'll be right back with this delicious curry. Time to dig in and your girl is going in with her finger. This looks so good. I have my Belimbi hair or the Kamaranga and I'm gonna take a piece, look at that, to go in here with my tomato and I wanna do a little bit of everything. Oh my goodness, this smells so nice. And this pepper, I'm gonna squeeze the juice out into this mouthful my okra and the mang the green mango here look at that and i'm gonna taste take a nice big mouthful here i am drooling so to all my viewers and all my subscribers this is your mouthful cheers mm -mm -mm. wow I don't have words to say. I wish you guys can taste this. This is so delicious, so rich and so creamy. And the flavor is just perfect and right. So I have to take another mouthful because it is so good. The pepper, it's a little bit spicy with the pepper because I blended some pepper in here as well. So cheers. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. So if you like my Friday night dinner, please give me a thumbs up. Natalie, you can show here. Please give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet. I hope you will consider subscribing soon. Until then, we want to say stay blessed, stay safe. Love you guys. I'm going to taste a piece of the fish for you guys. Mmm. <clears throat> Guyana Hassa is always so delicious. Bye for now.